Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setup for today. Uh, what can I say about uh, yesterday? Uh, we had a gap up, uh, playing off uh, two previous pin bars, and then we kind of closed below the open, uh, right back on the 30,000 area. So uh, without further ado, let's just get straight back into the lower time frames. As you can see here on the, th on the three hour, the confusion continues. And the confusion is above and below the moving average. You can see below, above, below, above. Until we find support or resistance on that moving average, this is going sideways and it's going to continue to go sideways. So uh, elections are kind of a thing of the past now you know everything's been confirmed now that Biden has won uh, it doesn't really matter what Trump does now but um, the concern that I suppose is still on the table is the stimulus package now there was noise yesterday on that the full stimulus package of 900 million or sorry 900 billion was going to be approved or agreed to and uh, then nothing happened and then obviously we've got the, the coronavirus fears still uh, specifically in a lot of the, the countries where there's a second wave brewing. So, yeah, so I think um, this is just showing you cautiousness at the moment. Uh, and one thing just to bear in mind is the US Christmas rally normally starts in the second half of December. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, that, that is something which uh, we are still kind of, uh, I can't say we're waiting for it because um, it's very, it's completely unsure as to whether there is going to be one. Um, so it, it's a difficult situation at the moment. Anyway, so for me at the moment, uh, this is kind of sit on hands, this 30,000 needs to go uh, one way or another. If it gets rejected here and we start moving to the downside, I think there would be merit to be short, but it's going to be sh um, short-lived, excuse the pun, because pretty much you're going to pick up on multiple different levels here. Okay, so I, you know, I think this range is going to continue. I'm not sure what we're waiting for, but uh, investors are waiting for something. And uh, they're not looking to sell in huge numbers, so there's no real big sell-off happening. They've still got this flat bottom triangle in play. But, yeah, that you look at that on the hour, that is a fairly strong move the downside. So we gapped up running nicely and then from the open pretty much just fell. And uh, you can see this last bar here is, could, well not is, uh, could be an exhaustion bar. So we came onto level, buyer stepped in there and then immediately the seller stepped through to push the stop, uh, the stops that would have been below that pin bar and um, took, took everybody out that was in there. And now we're going sideways again. So for me, I'm, I'm still favoring the uh, move to the long side, but there's no confirmation. It's, it's sideways. It's up and below the moving average at the moment. No reason to be in this. Uh, it's starting to look to me like you need to start taking an, earlier crisp, uh, an early Christmas. But I am waiting to see what's going to transpire. So uh, for me, this is sit on hands. Uh, wait patiently to see some structure. The one that I'm looking for is 30,000. I want an hour close and retest of 30,000. That's what I'm looking for. And you can see looking here, there was some potential there. Okay, but it failed and it wasn't quite, I mean, there it was sort of some potential brewing here, but then that also failed. So the interesting part is to see what transpires here. If we get above it, to hold it, then I would be looking for a little bit of a scalp all the way back to the top of this range. Something like that. Um, back to uh, 32.63. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's kind of me at the moment. Um, basically sitting on my hands until I see some structure here. And there's nothing that's exciting me at all. Anyway, hope it helps you somewhat and uh, we will catch you later. Cheers for now.